London, I don't know. Yo, what's up, y'all? Time to do our second half of Heritage Baseball, number two for eBay. All right, let's do it. Tell me about it, Jimbo. Tell me about it. Let's see. When I, the first half took me almost an hour to do. So I'm going to try to get this down. To me, hopefully, under 45 minutes. Jimbo, if only it were that easy, player. If only it were that easy. You know, unfortunately, I have to rip this stuff so that I can get allocations to get the good stuff. So this is just unnecessary evil. Oh, JMS. Oh, JMS. Well, start the timer. <laughs> ah. Thank God we got monster boxes. y'all so I'm gonna go a little bit quicker on this one if you catch me miss any short prints or variations uh, let me know in the chat either way I'm still gonna go through this at the end of the break uh, I should say at the end of the night Danny Duffy a black to for the Royals I hear those blacks are numbered to 50 or less even though they're not numbered so the only way to really know if it's a variation or a short print or whatever is to look at the back of the card. I kind of did that a little bit with the first half of this. And uh, it turned out to be about an hour break. And I definitely don't want to do that again. So, Like I said, we will be checking the back of the cards. Make sure that any variations get pulled so they can ship with their team. Kyle Schwarber, Cubs patch. Well, Jimbo, we are selling personal boxes in the store on our site. We do have personal boxes. Ooh, Jimi Hendrix. That's kind of cool. So, personal box, I have no problem shipping that out. I feel like I skipped something here. Nope, I did not. I caught an action image in the first half. A trout action image.
They got these scratch off cards, which are pretty cool. Are you about to scratch it off, supposed to smell like something? I don't know. Interesting. I can't help myself on looking at some of these. Look at the back of the card. You know, usually I'm good enough to just like look at the front and be like, hey, that's that doesn't look right. That looks like a variation or something. But when it comes to heritage, I've learned that anything I know goes right out the window. When it comes to heritage, I know nothing. The one thing I do know is I have to double, triple check the stuff. Something like that, Jimbo. I mean, if, if we hit one, you'll see. It's mostly, it's basically like a player caught in action. You know, throwing a ball or hitting a ball or something like that. Usually, you, you can just look at the card and be like, hey, that's different. That's how I caught the trout in the first half. Some of these other ones may look like they're action images, but they're not. Look at the freaking side wings on that guy. There's different. There's the team color swap variations. There's throwbacks, nicknames. There's the uh, trade error cards, French text. There's a there's a good amount of uh, variations in this stuff. Ozzy Albies for the Braves to 999. Correct. There's also the nickname variations. There's, there's a bunch of variations. Nah, uh, JMS, not necessarily. At least, like, I went through a whole. I went through a half case, and I only caught one action image. So I'm not sure if it's like one per box kind of deal. I don't think that it is. But you might be right. You know, either way. We're going, you know, uh, me and my sorters. I'm going to go through it once at the end of the night. They're going to go through it once as well. So it'll be essentially double, triple checked. Dude, Christopher, like I told you in the in the email, dude, I don't have anything on my end, bro. Like we usually keep a record of that stuff, and I don't see your name. So like I said in the email, if you can find the break where you went it in, like if you can find that video... And show it to me. I have no problem honoring it, Christopher. But I don't have anything on my end. So. Shoot me the video. Whatever it is. And like I told you in the emails, man. I'll honor it. I don't have a problem with that. I just don't have anything on my end. Chris, could you at least tell me what break it's in, man? Because, like I said, we keep a record of that stuff, and I and I don't I, I don't see your name on any of it. That's why I'm asking you for your help, man. Because I, I genuinely don't know. If I did, I would have sent it to you a long time ago, brother. Number two. How's everything with you, Jersey G Man? Let's see what we got here. That's two teams there. JMS, that makes me feel so much better. <laughs> 
That makes me feel so much better. The funny part is not even half of that's going to ship. There's an ungodly amount of base cards in this stuff. What? The king? Nice to hear, uh, G-Man. Something like that, Jumbo. Something like that. <laughs> As long as it doesn't rain. Like some of these I haven't seen before, so. Really, the only way to know is to look at the back of the card. Which is why I'm going to double check this stuff at the end of the night. It's that time of the year again, Heritage! This might be an action image. It is. So you can kind of tell, G-Man. I mean, uh, Jimbo. This is a Lindor for the Indians action image. You, you kind of caught him in action. You see what I'm saying? So the action images are kind of easy to tell. You know, they're usually in the field of play and whatnot. Performing some kind of action, hence the name action image. Oh, autograph here. Chance Adams, rookie autograph for the Yankees. Boom. There you go. Here's one of those uh, scratch-off cards right here for the Angels. Open the box stoppers at the end. So, so far, that's the second autograph out of nine boxes. So, two autographs in nine boxes so far. Or really, eight. Because this is nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, out of eight boxes so far, two autographs. My guess was anywhere from two to three autos in a full caser. Hopefully I'm wrong. Would like to see more, more autos, of course.
I'm on the third box right now for anybody that wants to uh, keep score, I guess. It was a Kyle Schwarber Cubs patch, Royce. Alright. This is box three. Gotta love the birds at this time of day. We always come out at the same time. Not annoying at all. At all. Corey Seager, Dodgers patch. Who won the World Series last year? Oh, the Red Sox. And the Patriots won the Super Bowl, too? Nice. Must be nice to be a Boston fan. <coughs> Excuse me. Think that might be an action image? It is. Reese Hoskins for the Phillies, code 124. That's what I would like. I wanna I wanna see one of those nickname uh cards. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, three boxes down. Three more to go. Drink some water before I cough up my lungs.
got a box topper there. Gotta open that up at the end. Really nice, Jameis. Yeah, I hit that one in the first half. So in this entire case, so far I've found three action images that I've actually caught. I don't think I missed any of them because I think I'm pretty good at catching them. But I am human and I do make mistakes. So it would not surprise me if I did miss one or two or three or five or whatever. Which is why I will be going through this at the end of the night. I'm going to go through every single card that I've been putting aside here. Look at the codes on the back. That way I don't miss anything. This is box number four right here. I got two more. Well, Royce, like I said, I'll, I'll be going through them at the uh, at the end of the night here, which is a beautiful thing. This is why we, you know, show the cards this way. That way you can see everything. And if I did miss something, you know, I can, one, go back and look at the video, and two, like I said, I'm going to go through every single card. So if I did miss anything, I will pull it and ship it to, the, to its rightful owner. So that's why I like ripping the cards this way, because I can actually, see, you know, see every single card. And you can actually slow it down on the stream. You can go half speed, you can go quarter speed. You can also speed it up if you want to. But yeah, man, if I, if I do miss anything, I will be going through all these cards again at the end of the night. And make sure any variations get pulled and sent to the right, rightful owner. <clears throat> I just wish there were more hits, man. This stuff is tough. Here's a patch for Buster Posey, Giants. Uh, JMS. Uh, believe me when I tell you, I know. I I know. But thank you.
that's what's the pain about this stuff is the only way to really know is to look at the back of the card and look at the code. See, like this one, you would think, oh, that looks like it's a sharp print or something. It's not. It's just a base card. This is box number five. I gotta say, I think I've been going a lot quicker on this half than the other half. In the first half, I was, you know, kind of stuck looking at the back of some of the cards and stuff. Because, yeah, you know, this is my very first look at this stuff. So I like, I like to have a feel for it. Oh no, Greg, uh, trust me, it's worse. You know, this would have been cool to do like as a 10 case break or something. A 10 case player break or something like that. That would have been awesome. I would have been down to do something like that. Scratch off for the Braves. A flashback card to random. Aaron Nola for the Phillies to uh, 570. Nice. A Royals Black, Rhino Hearn, Mabry's Veloria. Those are to 50 or less, even though they're not actually numbered. I wish they would just number that stuff.
Want to see something awesome? Like a one on one or something crazy good. There's a Braves auto for Freddie Freeman. At least the autographs are on card. That's nice. <coughs> yeah, I think there was a Braves autograph in the first half of this, too. So whoever got the Braves in both halves, probably going to be happy. All right, last box mojo here. And then we're done with this. Jason, it's looking heritagey. It is looking heritagey. That that is just a word that I made up. And you and I both know exactly what I mean by that. <laughs> How's everything with you, man? Hopefully better than me. I hope so anyway. One of us got to be happy. Why? Oh, about to say, dang, that's a fat pack. Well, it's two. Why? Why? Matter of fact, since you want to be so anxious, let's see what's in here. Maybe an action image? Yay, hey, look at that. A Rizzo action image for the Cubs. No wonder you are so uh, antsy to come out to play. No, Jason, this is a uh, an eBay break. It's a half case, six boxes, and I'm uh, on the last box right now. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, Greg. That's my dog right there. The Heat are playing the Warriors, too, in about half an hour. So, uh, looking forward to that. Hopefully, the Heat can bounce back and, and get a W. I doubt it, but hey, you never know. Yeah, we got PYTs in store, and we also have personal boxes, Jason. We got those as well. What do we have here? Good luck, y'all, with this last box of Mojo. Got those scratch-off cards. Those, that's interesting. How's your day going, Greg? Uh, I believe that is a short. No, it's not. Code one twelve, which is just a regular base card. It looks different though. That's why you gotta check the back of the cards. It's the only way to really know. Sounds good, Jason. We got a Chris Bryant Chrome for the Cubs to that hand numbered for some reason 68 of 99 Bryce Harper Nationals patch I mean he he, he he might as well have signed it since he wants to put his ink on there I, I don't know if he's the one that actually hand numbered it but an autograph would have been nice Mr. Harper who still has uh, not decided on a team to sign with and I don't, I don't blame him. Man. Watch him end up with the Yankees or something. That would be hilarious. Ugh, excuse me. Something about heritage, you know, just very relaxing, very therapeutic. Makes you just want to go to sleep. But I refuse to let it get the best of me. And like that, my friends, we are done. Dude, how do you, Greg, how do you think I feel? <laughs> how do you think I feel? Not too happy about it, but hey, what are you going to do? What are you going to do when the Moses runs wild on you? I got a random these. Got cards with two, three, four, five different teams on there. So they, you know, they do need a home. I will open up the box toppers here in a bit. Let me just sort through this. And then I'll go ahead and knock that out. These should all be threes. should be 
fours. These should be fives. Blazer Celtics game. Dude, the freaking Celtics stunk it up, stunk up the joint last night. I mean, they did play a good team. They played the Raptors, but man, they did not have a good showing. So it looks like I'm right so far anyway in this case. Three autographs in a whole case. Uh, but let's open up these box toppers. Let's see what we got here. For the Dodgers, Willie Crawford. Gotta like that 1970s design. Very nice. Phillies, uh, Larry Hizzle? Heisel? I don't know how you pronounce that. Lakers play tonight. Lakers play the Pelicans at 1030. What's this? The e-commerce team. So, uh, obviously got a random that. Interesting card. Okay. Got a random that. What's in these other ones? Got Thurman, Munson, Yankees. Pretty freaking cool. That's not an actual autograph, by the way. Would be nice if they were. Nolan Ryan. I did not know his name is Lynn. But no, these are not actual autographs. That would be nice, though. And last but not least... We got Roberto Clemente. That's a cool looking card there. Alright, so that's going to do it. Now to do our randoms. Uh, I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to roll a die. If I get an odd number, left side team, even number, right side team. So odd left, even right, odd left, even right. Here we go. Number six, even. So this will be Astros, Cubs, Nationals, Rays, Red Sox, Nationals, Rays. Let me write that down so my sorters know what's up. Come on, marker. Did this thing run out of ink? No, it didn't. So we wrote the number six. So for these, I assign numbers. So at the top, we have one. Bottom left, two. Bottom right, three. So one, two, three. All right, as you can see, three different teams on each. So I wrote the number six. I'm going to double that and go 12 times in the randomizer. And I'm just going to use numbers. And I'm going to double each number to make it a little bit more of a true random. 12 times, top number gets those uh, strikeout leaders. Let's see what we got. Well, that break didn't take me an hour, so at least I cut it down some. And the money shot 12. Boom, 12 times. So the number three, which would be the bottom right. So this will be D-backs, Cubs, Astros, Red Sox, Rangers, Nationals, Braves, Astros, Yankees, Yankees, Red Sox, Rangers, Nationals, Astros, D-backs, Braves, Indians, Yankees, 
Red Sox, Rangers, Nationals, Astros, Braves, D backs, Cubs, that's Indians, and Astros. This is break number two. And if you missed it, don't worry. We do record all of our breaks and we will be uploading them to our YouTube channel as always. And you can also go uh, back in the YouTube stream of the, up to two hours if you want to scroll back. Another one with four teams, which is this one. So again, I assign numbers, so the top team will be one, two, three, four. So that's one, two, three, four. All right. Let's go back into the random. Drop digits one more time. And uh, here we go. Twelve times. Money shot 12. Boom, 12 times the number four wins. So the bottom right team again. So this will be Brewers, Brewers, and Brewers. This one has five teams. So for this, I assign numbers. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, different teams there. Let's do it. Well, Joe. Uh, Joe, it's kind of like how J. Mess said earlier. You know, this is mostly really a retail product. It's really not meant to be broken, but due to allocations and all that good stuff, we kind of have to if we want to get to the good stuff. So, unnecessary evil, if you will. Going 12 times here. Let's see what we got. And the money shot 12. Boom. So the number five. Wow. So the bottom right crushed it. So this will be Rockies, Phillies, Rockies, Phillies, Rockies, and Phillies. And now the flashback cards. So these, as you can see, don't have any teams. Well, this one. Well, that's not. That's a. So not what I thought it was. So yeah, all these do not have a team. Therefore, we're going to random them amongst everyone. Do I still have it? I do. Boom, there we go. All teams on the list randomizer. Going 12 times. Top team gets the flashback cards. Money shot 12, good luck. Boom. The top team, Mariners. I would do that, JMS, but I don't have even amounts to give to everyone. Therefore, I'm only giving it to one team. If I had equal amounts to give to everyone, that would be the fair thing to do. Since I do not, I'm just giving them all to one team. Now, this one also has to be randomed. Right here, the e commerce team. No team assignment on that, so let's random it. Same deal as we did before. Just gonna put all teams right there, 12 times. Top team gets that uh, e commerce card there. Money shot 12, boom, 12 times. The A's at the very top. So there you go. Alright, let me put this on this side too, just in case. So the A's are going to get this e commerce card. And now, we can actually do a recap. So check it. We have a Harper to 99 Nationals, Posey for the Giants, 
Seager Dodgers, and a relic for Schwarber of the Cubs. We have a few action images. Rizzo for the Cubs, Lindor Indians, Hoskins Phillies, and we got two autos. We got Freeman for the Braves, and Adams for the Yankees. And that's it for the break. Thank you very much, eBay. We'll get it out.